Hi everyone, this is a video about trees and shadows on trees in bright sun. I went out a couple of days ago and did a sketch uh, with some notes on and um, this was going to be the basis for doing the drawing, uh, for the painting rather, which I'll start now. Okay, and I've speeded this up considerably because it was a bit boring to sort of see I'm just all I'm doing here is sketching out the drawing onto the canvas. As you can see here, it's coming on. Um, I add a few more lines. Again, referring to the sketchbook. Okay, now what I should say here is um, I'm using some alkyd oils. And um, first time I've used alkyd oils with um, a medium. Uh, Sansador medium which is both a medium for thinning the oils and a cleaning uh, agent for the oils. It's pretty odourless so it's, it's, it's a good thing to use. So I'm using the I'm using black, I'm diluting it a lot with the medium and just putting in some lines, going over some lines, filling some blocks in to help me add colour later. So I'm just um, I'm experimenting really with the alkyd paints. I usually use water mixable paints. So this is quite a novel thing for me to do. So I'm putting the values in here. Adding a little bit of colour. Not too much at this stage. And um, very dilute. Ah, now then, the Colours are going in here. These are the tree line colours. Well, this is day two, and um, I've been down to the site again. Have a look at it, and I've been a bit today. I went a bit earlier, and so the shadows are in a different different arrangement here. So I'm going to change it all a little bit. So. But first of all, what I'm going to do is to completely change this area here. So when I went back to the site today, with it being earlier, this was more obviously worn. In fact, the shadows were different as well, so I'll paint over that shadow. I could see in the extra bright light a lot more detail. So that was more ground, quite, quite pale. quite pale brown soil, probably paler than that, and this was more sort of brown, more this colour actually, so let's just make that a bit more raw rumber in there, so the path here was still pretty much there but this was not quite so green so we'll just turn that down a bit I'm using a one inch brush for this, blocking in. Oh, that's better. So 
So this is just bringing it back to more like it actually was this morning when I popped along and managed to lose a house key so I've had a locksmith in went back to have a look couldn't find the key so at this time of lockdown it's a bit awkward to try and find a shop that's open to recut a key from the one I've got at home anyway enough of that but I guess I'll have to uh, change the lock and um, get a new set of keys but what's a bit of a nuisance but there you go Right, okay, so here it is, um, finished. I'm not going to do any more to it. Um, I could overwork it if I'm not careful. The um, I just remembered to add the two remnants of swing ropes. There was a blue one and an orange one. I don't know if you can see them. Um, it could do with more work, but then again, you know, I quite like it as it is. It was a first effort at using alkyd oils which um, I think I, I like, and I'll use them again. So um, happy painting, everybody. Don't forget John Geeky Art, and try and visit Streamline Streamline Art Video. Um, they appear on both Facebook and YouTube, and um, feature an artist, could be a portrait artist, landscape artist, whatever, um, starting off and explain how they work very interesting to uh, tune into okay happy painting <laughs>